Hey, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Please subscribe our channel to get the latest updates about Oracle Cloud in finance, supply, HCM and technical and also about the trainings as well as the placement and entry questions and real-time issues. We will be finding the videos over here. In this session, I'm going to explain what is profile management in our uh, fusion applications, why it is required. In human capital management, we have a separate module called talent management. What is the purpose of this module? This module will be used to capture the employee talent information. Once we hire an employee, we are supposed to update employee educational qualifications, certifications, competencies, and employee self contributions, whatever he is doing to the organization that will be used to update and also employee goals, performance like that. So the talent management is going to have mainly four modules here. One is a goal management module we are going to have. Another one is performance management. Another one is profile management and talent review and success and plans. Now we are talking about this profile management. Generally, when we are hiring an employee, we will give the employee identification details, person information, and also we will provide the employment information as well as the employee compensation and salary details, right? Where do we enter all those information at the time of uh, new hiring? Whenever we are going for new hiring, we'll perform that. We'll go to new person and we'll go for perform this activity. Let's go to new person here. When we are hiring this employee, we can capture highest educational qualification name, but we cannot capture which university has completed, which year completed, what is the percentage? How about your, his graduation? How about his plus two? This is all information we cannot capture. Let me show you where do we capture employee highest qualification details. So that we'll find in the personal information actually. Take it as uh, social security number. I'm going to take this. Click next button. Here, if we go to our legislative, here we can find the highest educational level. We can capture this information, but we will not be able to capture the other information like uh, when he has completed, employee has completed, and employee competencies, employee language skills, any certifications he has completed, any awards he has received uh, during the schooling or while working with the organizations or current uh, recently if employee has completed some certifications, he is supposed to update that information, right? So those all information employee can update as soon as they log into the application. Let me hire this employee. And employee name is A1. I'm going to put it, this employee is working for US1 legal entity and US1 business unit. Here we can find US one business unit here. Choose that he is working as a human resource manager or some human resource specialist. He is working for Redwood City. After completion of this hiring process, the user account will be generated here for the employee. We'll find the user account automatically. Last name dot first name will be the username generally. Let's go to security console and uh, reset the password for this employee, for this user. So we have already created employee and now we are going for security console. Now go to security console. In the security console, go to users tab and search for the user and then go for this, still it's not updated. User account is still not generated, it seems. Verify. Let me cross check whether the user account generation is enabled for every employee or not. Where do we check that? We'll find out from enterprise. Manage the enterprise uh, HCM information task, and we will find out 
go down yes user account creation is now so obviously for your employee user account will not be generated then how we have to do we have to create one user account manually in uh, security console and then uh, we need to attach the employee so we'll go to users tab let's go for add user account and here worker choose the person type as worker search your employee this is our employee right our employee search for worker still it's maybe approved so the person management search for employee so we got employee a1 comma a1 not a1 dot a1 a1 comma a1 so first name is a1 and last name also i have given a1 so by default i have entered a1 dot a1 that's why we were not getting let's go to you can find out the user account is generated or not from person management page itself Go to user account tab here. When we go for user account tab, there is nothing here so far. The employee does not have a user account. Okay, you can create a user account link on that already exist, or you can do it from security console. If you are already an admin user, you can go to security console, go to users, add user account for worker. Here also we can go for link the user account. If user account is already created in uh, security console, that's fine. If not, we can go for link. Uh, we will go for create one user account from security console and we'll go for add this, save and close. Okay. So now the employee has got a user account and also an role has been assigned employee role. As soon as employee log into the applications, he will be able to update Self-information. When I say self-information, employee will be able to update their uh, graduation, this user account, person number, active. Default role is employee role. This up. Let's go to Navigator and Security Console. Use that tab. Now we can search for the user account. So here only we can go for create a user account and attach with that user. Let me reset the password for this user account here. Our employee is going to log in to the applications here. Click done button. Log out from here and log into the applications. Once employee log into the applications, he will go to navigator. This is employee role, right? Me. And uh, go to career and performance here. Employee can update their uh, complete uh, information, self info. This is the result for our talent management. Whenever we do some setups in talent management modules, that setups uh, result is going to be reflected here. Nothing but it transactions. Okay, so we are talking about profile management. When an employee wants to update their skills and qualifications, this we call it as a profile management. Here, uh, employee can go to skills and qualifications uh, card, 
in this employee can update their skills as well as the qualifications details. They can go for update their information over here it is. And he can go for find all these uh, competencies like degrees, career preferences, competencies, previous employment, membership, honors and awards, educational levels, licenses and certifications, area of study like this. For example, uh, employee would like to go for update degrees. Their degrees they wanted to go for add. Employee wants to update their degree information. When employee is trying to update the degree details, Oracle has provided some standard fields. Oracle has provided some standard fields like this. Now client is asking us uh, change this some values means value set. Okay. And they would like to have some list of schools which are not there in the list. And they wanted to have some more fields here. So let's say country India. I'm going to select state Telangana and the city year of acquired 2001. And they can go for update their certification also if required. So these are the features given by the Oracle for degrees competence for degrees card. But client uh, want to have some more fields here. They would like to go for update some more information here. And they wanted to add some more fields and list of values that. Then we will go for work with the profile management model. So profile management model will be used to provide some list of values. And we call it as uh, some sections, content section. These all are content sections and content areas where the employee can go for update their self-information. Nothing but their skills and qualification related information, it's going to be updated so that the organization will be having the complete control about their employees' uh, skills and qualifications. So, so in talent uh, pool model, means in talent review model, the organizations can easily prepare a dashboard analysis to the management saying that our company has got this much of skills uh, employees this is our strength in this area we are very strong in this area weak we need to update and like that said how many professionals we have certification professionals how many people has completed the professional certificate in last three months last quarter and how many are graduates we have how many doctorates we have this is all the information we are going to find out over here it is. Okay, that's about the profile management model. Thank you.